The Chickenosaurus is something that, you know what, I think we've all heard of at this point. But on this episode of Dino Times, let us dive into what exactly is the Chickenosaurus. The Chickenosaurus is an idea brought to us by the legendary paleontologist Jack Horner. And actually, in How to Build a Dinosaur, it was eh, a book released a few years ago. It's actually dissected on what they want to do. Chickenosaurus is actually something where they go into the DNA and the embryo of a chicken while it's still in the egg. And it's a way of de-evolution by activating and deactivating certain genes while the egg is in the process. And that process is actually called CRISPR. The three gene changes are snouts instead of beaks, hands instead of wings, and tails instead of feathers. More or less so, we would be looking at, with the size especially, a real interpretation of what a velociraptor could look like. So basically, the dinosaur we would be de-evolutionizing would be the velociraptor. It'd be the closest to the dinosaurs. If it could fly, then it'd be a microraptor, but most likely just velociraptor. Now, as of this recording, uh, so far as we know, two out of the three genes have been completed. Now, that's two out of the three. We're so close. We are absolutely so close to it. And all that remains actually is the tail portion of CRISPR in order to get it figured out. But news has been kind of silent as of recent, so who knows what might happen. Expected the next five to ten years of to be able to be completed, and then maybe the first one to be born, and all the sorts of jazz like that. Actually, though, it has been confirmed that, well, if you do it with the chicken, any species could be dinofied. Any species of bird, correction, could be dinofied. So who knows the possibilities of, you know, modern-day chickenosauruses that we could have. And to me, I'm actually very, very excited. Now, of course, so folks, uh, Jurassic Park may not be the possibility that, you know, we're all hoping for, but then again, you never know. Daddy Elon may be coming up with something else, too. Maybe he's giving money to Jack Corner, so we never know. But, of course, so going to the food portion of it is, well, due to the chicken actually having a mouth with teeth instead of the beak, well, we're gonna have to come up with a food al alternative for it. So, food alternatives have actually been looked into currently too to make sure we can keep the uh, chicken source actually fed while you have one now i'm 100 percent a fan of this because i think it'd be really cool but could you imagine chicken sources could be a pet of the future maybe within the next five to ten years i mean 2020 show doesn't anything's possible so within the next five to ten years maybe we'll have a chicken source you can have as a pet and of course folks if you want to look, dive more into the de-evolution process with crispr jack corner and all the jazz like that pick up his book how to build a dinosaur and i've read it and it's a few years old now but it's actually really worth the time if you really kind of want to know more about it. Thanks everyone for joining me on this episode of Dino Times. I've been your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming from Phoenix, Arizona. Be sure to subscribe for more dinosaur stuff, toys, video games, and more on the channel. And leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks everybody. And remember folks, science is real.